special delivery. Um, excuse me. Is, we have a special delivery here for Mr. Phil Dadek. It's a brand new Tamiya BT-01. Excellent! This brand new versatile platform from Tamiya has two, two different motor setup configurations. You can set it up to be rear wheel drive or front wheel drive, which is super, super cool. A lot of versatility. In today's video, we're gonna unbox this kit, let you know what you get with this kit when you purchase one. We'll talk about hop-up options. We'll talk about what you need to add to this kit to make it work. And then you gotta give me a couple days to get it out and get a nice running video for you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. And just before we get started on the unboxing, I wanna let you guys know I picked this one up at Eliminator RC here in Canada. I've got a coupon code down below you guys can use to get $15 off of this thing. They've got lots of inventory right now, so jump on them while they're still in stock. Ah. Let's start off at the very top with this absolutely stunning body. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful 90s era Toyota Supra body. Uh, obviously, guys, this is made of clear Lexan or polycarbonate. You are going to have to supply your own paint for this and do your own masking, painting, cutting out, all that good stuff. What else we got going on? We got some wheels here. I'll get these opened up for you guys. See what they are all about. Could you tell us again what your argument is all about? This is not about diplomacy. This is about dignity. <laughs> this is about respect. Very scale for the era and all four of them are 12 mil hexes in the rear, just so you know, in case you're wondering. What else we got going on here, guys? Looks like a spoiler, very cool. Spoiler comes in silver. That it doesn't look like that's painted. That's gotta be a molded plastic. So a silver spoiler with silver side mirrors and a couple little pieces here. These are probably just to hold down your spoiler on the inside of the body. And this is a first that I've ever seen. We've got headlight buckets here, but they haven't drilled out the holes for the LEDs. So that's an interesting thing. Maybe the instruction manual is going to give us some more info on that. But uh, if you look at the back, that's an interesting thing. More on that later. What else is in the box? All right. So it looks like we've got two different drive shafts. And I built the MB01 recently. With the MB01, we had something very similar to this looking for the little mini drive shaft. Really, it kind of just connects the gearbox to the rear gearbox. And so given that we've got two different motor configurations, that might be what those are for. I'm just kind of guessing. We've got a little dog bone here, some suspension doodads, <laughs> some diff cups here as well. More diff cups that just fell off the tree. Ah. Put them in there. Cool, 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 cool. What else we got here, Phil? So it looks like we've got our friction shock bits and pieces here and some ball cup ends for our steering and, and camber links and all that good stuff. Same with this parts tree, the exact same. And this little piece here is for your battery, kind of like a battery holder, inner dewy doodad thingy. The best part of every unboxing video, the tire sniff. Let's see what kind of special blend we got here. Oh, yes, quite nice. Mmm, I, I believe these are from the Osaka region. Very nice, very nice blend. <laughs> they smell great. They feel like they've got, uh, you know, pretty good compound, actually. Pretty nice, soft, uh, supple rubber compound with a nice tread pattern on there. Nice and low profile, too. I like those tires. I like the way they feel. Now, the BT-01 is going to come with two assembly manuals. I'll show you actually this one first. This is the main assembly manual. And if you've ever assembled a Tamiya kit, they all kind of look very similar and they've got amazing instructions. Step-by-step step, how to do it. And they've got this beautiful, perfectly scale legend on the inside here. So if you're ever guessing, is it a eight mil screw or a six mil, you can line it right up and know that you're using the correct part every single time. So really great instructions. And then on top of that, they're going to throw in some additional instructions. Now, when building your BT-01, it is very important to look and, and really familiarize yourself with these instructions. Reason being, this chassis can be configured in two different wheelbases. We have ba -ba -ba -ba, right here, we've got a 251 and a 257 wheelbase. And right beside it, we've got two different motor configurations. You've got MR and FF. MR is midship rear, FF is forward facing front. So 
The midship rear means the motor is going to be positioned midship or center of the chassis, basically, and you're going to be rear wheel drive. The FF is the motor is facing more so in the front of the chassis, and you're going to be front wheel drive. If you want any more info on that, I'm going to put a link down below to my MB01 chassis. I did a whole, I've got a whole playlist on it. You might want to check it out because this is really essentially just a bigger brother of the MB01, and the MB01 had some interesting things going on with it. <laughs> we'll just leave it right there. You guys watch it. I don't want to give Tammy a hard time. I love them, obviously, bit of a fanboy. But let's just say the rear wheel configuration of the MB01 left a lot to be desired. It was it was pretty tough to control. In front wheel drive, it was a dream. So check that out if you need more info on it. But uh, when assembling your BT01 or MB01, make sure you pay close attention to these supplement manuals. We have nice big decal sheets right here. And I'm happy that we've got the windows tinted via the decal and the window surrounds those moldings because they are so annoying to have to cut out. Now, are these going to be die cut? That would be an amazing next step. Toyota, hint, Toyota, <laughs> Tamiya, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Hold the phone, guys. Hold the phone. They're die cut. Oh my goodness. Or pre cut or whatever the correct term is. I don't really know the stickers are pre-cut yes thank you thank you thank you tamia yes ah got our window masks here which do not appear to be pre-cut no they are not i guess you can't have everything pre-cut can you <laughs> be asking too much but this makes me so happy that these are pre-cut because talk about a time saver love it what else is in here it's kind of funny the way this box is configured. It's got like a false floor. It's like they're hiding something in here. Let's see what's going on. Get rid of our false floor here. Oh, look, more goodies. What's in there? We have got a giant bag with our chassis components. So this big piece here would be kind of the, the main component of the chassis, along with this second filler piece and some different kind of spacers. I've got spacers in this chassis because it's it's available in different wheelbase configurations. What about this one here, guys? Yeah, more of those spacers. We've got, I don't know what some of these are. It's tough for me to identify all of them because I've never built this chassis before. So sorry, I'm a little bit, I'm drawing a couple blanks because some of these parts just look very different. Again, it's a brand new chassis. That's a lousy explanation. Thanks for coming out, Phil. Jeez Louise. <laughs> What else is happening? I remember this from the BT or for the MBO one. This is like a servo mount kind of a doodad. It's going to go in your chassis. More chassis bits and pieces. We've got our differential housing right here. And we've got our motor mount plate right here. What else? More plastic goodies. So gearbox cover, front uprights, some spacers, shock towers, all that kind of thing. Rear uprights, more shock towers. Looks like a main chassis here, or chassis for my friends in the UK. And you know what? That little Tamiya branding right there, I know it's not a big thing, but I really like it. Just kind of seems like the game's been elevated a little bit with that little bit of branding. Big brand guy. Couldn't tell by all the logos everywhere. All right, and these two uh, part streets are identical. Looks like we've got our front upper and lower arms. We've got some body posts. We've got some bumpers, some more body posts. And these parts trees are made of a much softer, much more flexible plastic, which is really good to see on suspension com uh, components, which can take a bit of a beating. It's nice to see them using this more durable kind of softer bendy plastic. Breaks a lot less frequently than the rigid stuff does. And the last bag is our big bag O assembly parts. Foam bumper can also double as a mustache for Halloween if you want to be one of the Super Mario Brothers. Bags A, B, and C. To this day, I don't know what it is, but I still get excited when I see bags A, B, and C. It's a thing. Building a Tamiya kit from the ground up, it's just a very fun, exciting process. I love it, and I get excited whenever I see these parts bags. So it looks like you're going to get a little bit of grease in here. Uh, unfortunately, you've got some plastic bushings in there. I see some some brass bushings in there as well. And those are usually used in the gearbox. They're uh, uh, quite a bit tougher than the plastic ones are. I do see a pinion gear in there as well. Bag B, just a bunch of assembly hardware. Bag C, we've got some two-sided tape, body pins, and just more assembly hardware for the kit. 
It does come with a motor. This is a Mibuchi 540. Very much standard motor. Pretty good little motors. And in the MB01, I was running this motor and it felt pretty good in terms of speed and everything. I ran it on 2S. So I'm going to start with this motor. We'll see in time. Maybe we'll want to upgrade it down the line. We have a supplementary little bag here with a couple extra screws and a bunch of extra body pins. And here we have our Tamiya servo saver. Another servo saver. Here we have our differential gears, our spur gear, all that good jazz. And is that a ball bearing I see? Do I see one ball bearing? <laughs> one, one lonesome ball bearing in a bag. Oh, poor guy. And some more assembly hardware. So that's it for today's quick little unboxing video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That always means so very much and really appreciate it. I'm going to start painting, start doing some wrenching, get this thing put together so I have some action footage for you guys for the weekend. So until then, be excellent to each other.